Hey guys, welcome to another Foodie Friday. We have only one more week until Thanksgiving, so I have one last dish that I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare, and it's a Thanksgiving traditional, pumpkin pie. But we're gonna do everything from scratch, including the pie crust. Yeah, I see you, Deborah. Put the Pillsbury down. We're gonna make it from scratch today. Now, I know this seems intimidating, but if you're here, that means that you have ambition, and that's a start. So I promise we'll just take this step by step and it'll be easy peasy. So we're gonna start with the pie crust and this is super easy, especially if you have a food processor. I got this one from Target for like 30 bucks maybe, probably even less than that to be honest. So we need one and a half cups of flour. So there's one and I'm just gonna guess the half. That's about a half. Next, we're gonna need butter, and it has to be very cold. So as I was setting up, I put mine in the freezer. So it's been in there for maybe five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. Pretty much everything we're putting in this has to be super cool. That's what makes the pie crust work. So I'm gonna cut this into cubes, and this is a full stick of salted butter. It's real hard. <laughs> Now I'm gonna give this a few good pulses. When you're done, the flour should look kind of grainy. So now we're gonna be adding in some water. And once again, I have this in my freezer because the water has to be ice cold, like borderline freezing. So we're gonna need a total of one fourth cup, but we're gonna do this one tablespoon at a time. So it's gonna equate to four tablespoons. So there's one, and we're gonna pulse that up. There's two, three, and there's four. All right, so we have a nice hearty dough now. And I don't wanna get too crazy with the food processor because I don't wanna blow the motor because again, it was only like 20 bucks. So <laughs> I'm gonna put some stuff away and I will be right back. I'm back and I have some saran wrap. So what we're gonna do is pour this dough out, wrap it up really good, and we're gonna put it in the fridge to sit while we prepare everything else. And because I didn't mention it before, I didn't add salt to this dough because the butter was salted. If you're using unsalted butter, definitely add just like a pinch or two of salt. The next thing we need to work on is preparing our pumpkins. So I'm gonna start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and I wish I had a tip for you guys on how to cut pumpkin, but uh, it's not something I'm super great at either. So <laughs> just be safe. Make sure that the pumpkin's stable when you're cutting into it so you don't like chop your fingers off. Ugh. All right, so my least favorite part, we gotta pull all the guts out. These pumpkins are actually left over from Halloween. I had bought them with the intentions of carving them. Like I wanted cute little pumpkin faces and I never ended up finding the time to do it. <laughs> but that's fine. The good thing about gourds is if you don't cut into them, they'll actually store for a very long time. So I'll find a use for them after all. I'm personally not a big fan of pumpkin seeds. So I'm not gonna save mine. I'm probably gonna toss this all in the back for the little animals. If however, you live like a waste-free life and you wanna do something with these, like a really long time ago, like a really long time ago, I did a video on how to prepare pumpkin seeds. It's a very poorly prepared video, but I'm gonna link it up above in case you guys are interested. <sighs> all right, this is gonna take a while, so I will see you guys in a bit. My pumpkin's gutted and my original plan was to cut it away from the rind and cube it because that's what I do when I prepare like a bigger pumpkin. But because these guys are so small, I think that would be a huge waste of my time. So I'm just gonna pop it in the pan, which I've lined with aluminum foil to catch the juices. Not because we need them, but because I don't want to have to clean up a mess. <laughs> and I'm gonna stick these in the oven and I don't have a time for you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't cooked these little guys before. I'm gonna start with a half hour and we'll go from there. I'll let you guys know what it ends up being. In the meantime, clean your kitchen and clean your food processor because we're gonna need it in the next step. The pumpkin took 45 minutes to cook, so now I need to scrape away all of the pumpkin away from the rind and I'm gonna be putting it in my food processor to puree it.
Make sure it's really, really well blended because you don't want any of those stringies in your pie. I'm back with my pumpkin puree and it's time to assemble our pie filling. So we're gonna start with three eggs. There's one, two, and three, and then just one egg yolk. Next, I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more than one cup. <laughs> Stir that all up. Next, we need two teaspoons of cinnamon. There's one and two. One teaspoon of salt. A half teaspoon of nutmeg. One fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. One fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. And I'm gonna mix all that up. Now we need two cups of our pumpkin puree. And I think I'm gonna have just a little bit more. So like those pumpkins actually didn't have as much meat in them as I was expecting. <laughs> so I'm thinking that you're only gonna get about one cup of pumpkin per like personal pumpkin. There's one. Yeah, so two pumpkins gave me about two and a half cups of pumpkin puree. So there is the second cup. So I'll save that for later and I'll see if I can find another recipe that we can make together. And finally, we're gonna be adding two cups of milk. I'm gonna be using unsweetened almond milk because that's what I have. But if you want yours to be more decadent, you can use whole milk or heavy cream, or I have read recipes before that use sweetened condensed milk, which I imagine if you use that, you'd wanna like pull back on the amount of sugar you add in, but you know, live your life however you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna be adding in two cups. There's one and two. And looking at how much filling this made, this is probably like two pies worth of filling, especially since I have shallow pie dishes. All right, and that's it for our filling. It smells absolutely amazing. I'm getting whiffs of it and it's making me so happy. So I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna roll out our pie crust now. <gasps> Mother of God, why? My microphone cord got caught. So <laughs> I get for trying to clean up, I guess. <sighs> I absolutely hate doing this. I'm gonna grab the flour and roll it out on the counter. <laughs> I wanna be careful not to make this like too thick, but I also don't wanna make it too thin either. All right, perfect. So now that I wrote it out, I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to kind of like, it's kind of stretched out right now and it's gonna like snap back just a little bit. So I'm gonna let it do that and then I'm gonna cut my shape out. All right, I'm gonna cut my shape. So I got my pie pan here. I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm going to cut this so that I have about a half inch hanging off the ends. I have a lot of dough left over. I'm gonna just try and see if I can get another pie out of this. So I am gonna roll my dough over my rolling pin. And that way I can get this over my pie pan. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, now we're just gonna gently form this to the pie pan. Now I'm rolling the extra in and giving it just a tiny pinch. Some people will roll it under. That's perfectly acceptable as well. So whatever's easier for you. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm gonna pour my filling in. We're gonna find out how much extra I have. <laughs> and this is gonna look really, really runny right now, but it will set up, I promise. Okay, this isn't gonna make a full other pie, but I do have my ramekins. I think I'm gonna make mini pumpkin pies. So I'll do that in a bit. But for now, we have our completed pie here. We need to stick it in the oven, which I have preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna stick this in for about 60 minutes, but keep an eye on it because you don't wanna burn your crust. If you're feeling extra fancy, if you do an egg wash, so just whip up an egg, I'm not doing it, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it. <laughs> whip up an egg, add just a little touch of water to it and brush that on your crust and it'll make it like nice and golden brown 
It's beautiful, but I'm not feeling that ambitious right now. So <laughs> we're gonna stick this in, try not to spill it, and I will see you in an hour. My pie is now done. It smells, oh my gosh, so, so good. But Jordan's gonna be home soon. I wanna wait to try this with him because pie's always better with someone else. Plus he's also bringing home the whipped cream, so. Not the wrong things for you getting the whipped cream. <laughs> it's probably hard as a rock. Oh, right, so it's frozen. Yep. That's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> Are you, like, you're not, well, you're kind of in frame because of the mirror. Get in here. <laughs> Start with the little pies. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. Do you guys hear her right now? <laughs> it's so I think the neighbors can hear her right now. <laughs> that enough whipped cream. Enjoy. I made that. A little extra flavoring from the counter. <laughs> No, I cleaned it really well because I um, put flour all over it. Oh. Have whichever one you want. Oh, I'll take the ones extra seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. Everything's homemade. All of it. Every bit of it. The crust, everything. You grew the pumpkin? <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> I do find it funny you say everything's homemade with a package of whipped cream in front of you. Well, you know what? <laughs> I didn't have any um, heavy whipping cream. If I We're did, goats. it was actually recommended that um, that you make the pie with heavy whipping cream. Mm. But did you make it with almond milk instead? I did. You can barely tell, can you? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin pie so much. Same. It's my jam. Mm -hmm. No, it's my pie. What would you rate it? Oh, 10 out of 10. All right guys, and that was all I had to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Of course, if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That was a bit redundant. <laughs> If this is your first video here, please subscribe to my channel. That's what I was trying to say. I would really love to watch this channel grow and I can't do it without your guys' help, right? I just can't do it. But all that stuff being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.